Hey guys, welcome to day 11 of Yoga March Madness. So we are back to working on opening up through our heart center. So we're gonna hop on our backs, um, on our mat. And if you have yoga blocks or some pillows um, or a stack of blankets, we're gonna start um, with those as well. So if you have the blocks, um, we're gonna set two of them apart Maybe about four to six inches in between the both of them. Um, either on the, depending on how flexible your spine is, either on the lowest height or you can even bring them up to their highest height. I'm going to start here and just adjust um, higher if needed. And so if you have some pillows, you can bring pillows, you can use a stack of blankets, just something to kind of lift your um, your ribs up off the mat. How, if you do have blocks, so there is a specific position that I want you to place them. So for the bottom block, I want them, I want the bottom block at the tip of your shoulder blades. So for women, it's kind of about bra line or a little bit higher than your bra line. If you move your shoulder blade around, you'll find the bottom. And that I don't want your block any lower than that. So the first block is going to be on your shoulder blades. Okay, and adjust that. And then the second block is just going to be a pillow. So you're going to rest your head on the pillow. Once you take, once your head's on the block or on the other pillow, if your chin is jutting up towards the ceiling, I want you to take your hands, hold and cradle your head, lift your head, and then pull your head out away from your shoulders so your chin drops, and then replace your head back on the mat or back on the block. We're going to take our arms out to T, and then just drape our legs straight, completely relax, and allow this to be a nice, gentle beginning to our class. As you inhale, just feel your ribs, your heart center expand. And fully exhale. Let's use some of that visualization we started with last week. So as you inhale, feel or visualize the color of green just enveloping your chest cavity. And as you exhale, let it all go. Inhaling the color green. Exhaling any negative thoughts that are going through your head. One more time, deeply inhale. Exhaling everything else. All right, take your arms down by your side, palms face up, and the back of your hands are on the floor. Now listen carefully, we're going to make the action of making a snow angel with their arms. The key is to not have the back of your hands leave the floor. So it's going to get, for some people you might have a little difficulty the higher your arms get up and that's okay just go as high as you can with the back of the hands remaining on the floor and then lower back down and you might find that each time up you can get a little further so with your inhale sweep your arms like a snow angel up overhead back of the hands not leaving the floor taking your time mindfully and slowly just Kind of working to again open up our heart center get some range of motion through our shoulders sweeping the arms up taking your time feeling the openness or tension in your shoulders like one shoulder may feel completely different than the other let's go one more time again we're not doing this to just do it we're doing this to Feel and get to know our body. Okay, 
and release back down. Nice. From here, bend your knees. Gently and carefully roll off your blocks. Move them off to the side. And then come onto your hands and knees. Alright, on an inhale, drop the belly, reach the chest forward, lift the head. Exhale, press your hands through the floor, round the back, chin to chest. Two more, inhale, cow pose. Reach your chest through your arms. Exhale, rounding the back, cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. And inhale to a neutral spine. Curl your toes under. Down dog with your knees bent. Really work on finding the length from your hips all the way to your fingertips. And then inhale forward to plank. Exhale back to down dog, softening through the knees, reaching your tailbone to the sky. And inhale. Plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Let's go one more time. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale back to down dog. Shift forward to plank. Inhale. Exhale, come onto your belly through your knees if you need to. And take your arms directly out to your sides. Your arms are out at a T. And then walk your hands slightly up. Your arms are still straight, um, so your arms are a little bit higher than your shoulders. Now, bend your elbows to 90 degrees, palms face down. All right. So I'm just going to get up here so you can see. So I'm on my I'm on the floor here, and my arms are like this. Okay. <clears throat> In future reference, I'm going to probably call that goalpost arms or cactus arms. <clears throat> so with our arms in a cactus position, the left arm is staying as is. That's not moving. Right hand is going to move and shift underneath your shoulder. Kind of like it'd be a cobra arm. Press into your right hand and allow your body to start to roll onto the left side. Don't lift the head, don't lift the chest up off the ground. You're just using the pressure of your right hand to roll onto your spine. And this is a nice way, again, to get into your chest muscles. One more inhale. And then exhale, lower down. Both arms back to cactus. Left hand underneath the shoulder, like cobra arm or push-up arm. Press into the left hand. You're not lifting the chest like a locust pose or a cobra pose. You're keeping your chest down, and then you're just rolling to your side. Your head stays in line with your spine. Again, don't lift up. That takes you out of the chest stretch. You're just rolling. Again, depending on how flexible you are, you may only get a few inches of a roll. You may be able to roll all the way onto your side and stack your hips. One more inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Both hands underneath your shoulder. Inhale, lift for cobra pose. Reach your chest forward. Lift up through the crown of your head. Exhale for down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest forward and up, cobra pose. Thighs anchored to the mat. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale forward, plank. Exhale, belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Hold here. So again, make sure the elbows are sucked in to your rib cage. The chest is lifting up, but also pulling forward. One more inhale. Exhale, down dog. Deeply inhale and down dog. 
and then exhale, step your feet forward to a forward fold, knees are soft, inhale, lift your chest forward, exhale, fold, inhale, press through your heels, rise up, arms wide and up, fingertips touch, look at your thumb, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. As the fingers touch, lean back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Fingertips touch, mini back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, sweep up. As you lean back, engage your glutes down, lift your belly. Lift your ribs up as you lean back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Lean back. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep up. Adding lunges. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch your chest. Exhale, hands down, right foot to the back of the mat. Lower the knee. Inhale, arms up overhead. Back shins pressing down. Now exhale, cactus the arms. So elbows directly up from the shoulders and bent to 90 degrees. Lift up through your ribs. Start to take your thumbs back. Start to lean your shoulders back. Gaze up at the ceiling. Hug your outer hips in, back shins pressing down, and feel this openness, this sense of vulnerability come into your body. It can be a little scary, but it's, it's safe. It's strong. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down. Curl your toes under, lift your knees. Inhale, arms up overhead. High lunge. Same thing, toes pressed down. Cactus the arms. Squeeze the outer hips together. Thumbs start to pull back as you lift your chest up towards the sky. Bend deeper into your front knee. Lean further back. And allow a sense of compassion to enter into you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, touch down. Step back to down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale to the belly, through the knees if you need to. Inhale, cobra, chest forward and up. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up towards the sky. We're going to bend the knee, squeeze the left outer hip to stack the right hip on top of the left. Or squeeze the left outer hip to stack the right knee. I think I said that right the first time. Nice open hip flexor now. One more inhale. Exhale, right foot between the thumbs. Take a moment to steady your stance. We're going to ground our left heel. Inhale. Windmill Warrior Two. We're going to come into a variation that has a little bit more of a back bend than the side bend. So left hand down. And then I want you to turn your chest forward so your shoulders aren't square to the long length of the mat. We're going to rotate back forward and then turn your right palm up. And now reach forward, up and back. Bend deeper into your front knee. Keep rotating through the chest, lifting your ribs up out of your pelvis and leaning back. Try to look back at your fingertips. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step together. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Second side. Inhale, sweep up. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, chest fold. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, knee lowers. Inhale, arms up overhead. Lift your hip points, shin bone down. Cactus the arms, exhale. Inhale as you take your thumbs back. Lift your breastbone up towards the ceiling. Take your shoulders back. Keep creating space in the small of your back by lifting your ribs, lifting your breastbone, and pressing your shin down. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, touch down. Straighten your back leg. Inhale, arms overhead. Squeeze your outer hips together to create a little bit more sense of balance and stability. Back toes now pressing through the mat to keep this glute engaged. Cactus the arms, thumbs back, breastbone up, lean back. Breathe. Feel this openness, the, what's the word? Expressiveness, the, the love that opening up through your chest cavity offers. Inhale, fingers to the sky. Exhale, touch down. Step back, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale to the belly, dropping to your knees first if needed. Inhale, lift the chest forward and then up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Bend your knee, squeeze your right outer hip to stack the right shoulder or the right hip on top. Take a few breaths here. And then one more inhale. Exhale, left foot between the thumbs. Right heel plants, take a moment to settle into your foundation. And then inhale, windmill your arms up. Again, the reverse warrior in the back bend. So the right hand's coming to the thigh. We're rotating our chest forward. Left arm forward, up, and reach back, looking at your fingertips. And pressing firmly down through the feet to find lift up through your rib cage as you lean back. One more inhale. Exhale, hands touch down. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, refold. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Fingertips touch, lean back. Exhale, hands to heart. Release your arms to your side. Close your eyes for a moment. And feel the pulse of your heart. That pulse is the energy of love, of compassion, of vulnerability. Inhale, sweep wide, sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Exhale, hands down, down dog. From here, we're going to take our right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, shift forward into plank and take your knee in towards your chest. And now shift your knee out to the same side arm, so knee to right arm, and rotate your shin so your toes are coming over to the left. So halfway to pigeon pose, pose, as Jason Crandall likes to call it. And then we're going to just lower our shin on the ground, take our hips back for pigeon pose. If this doesn't quite work on your knees, you can come onto your back for figure four like this, or staying belly down, which 
this is the way I would probably prefer you to come into it, is to roll to the outside of your right hip, straighten your right leg, and then you're gonna twist over your straight right leg and lower down onto your forearms into like a twisted sphinx pose, working to be on your toes. If you're staying in pigeon pose, we're not coming into sleeping pigeon this time, or at least not yet. Press through your fingertips, press down through your back shin, lift the chest. Pull your chest forward, up, then back. Exposed, that's the word that I was thinking of. Yes, you're going to feel exposed because we are so confined to this posture. So when we do start to bring our shoulders back and our chest forward, it might bring up some emotion and that's okay. Allow that emotion to come up. Allow yourself to feel. Wherever you are, making our way back into down dog. Second side, left leg up. Left knee, left arm, left toes towards the right arm, and then lower the shin down. You have your options. You can lay on the left side of the leg or your hip and straighten out the left leg into that twisted sphinx pose. You can stay in pigeon pose. You can come onto your back for figure four, but I would have that as your last option because then you don't get the heart opening back bend um, for this class that I'm looking for. So wherever you are, if you are in the sphinx position, or pigeon position, your chest is forward, up, and then pull it back with your back body. Back shins pressing down. And you're inviting everything, good and bad, into your circle. Because even the back, you'll find compassion towards if you're open. wherever you are, slowly make your way back to down dog. Take a big deep inhale here. And exhale onto your knees. And then slowly begin to roll onto your back. If you did like using your blocks, pillows, or blankets, um, feel free to prop yourself up like we did in the beginning of class. Or if you're kind of back bend out, just come to lie here for a few moments in classic Savasana. Wherever, whatever position you have taken, just close your eyes. Return to that visualized breath with the color green. finish class, I just want you to say three loving statements to yourself. Something along the lines of, I am strong. I am beautiful. I am, I am enough. Make it your own, it can be general, it can be specific. Slowly begin to roll to the right side of your body. 
press yourself up. Come into a comfortable seated position. Hands to heart. Bow the head, close the eyes. Closing class with the sound of OM to recognize our connection to the entire universe, the beauty of nature, and every individual practicing with us. Deeply inhale. Sukino Bhavantu. May the universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for joining me in class today. More importantly, thank yourself for showing up and working hard. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.